everybody, it's a crazy big girl Shabby. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. So we are continuing with reacting to Andor episode three. So excited to be continuing the story, guys. As you obviously have seen through my, my reaction so far, absolutely loving it. I love this three-part opener. Makes sense. It's really picking up the pace, and I feel like in this episode, it's gonna really hit. And this is where the like like the conflict is gonna really start. And yeah, this is where the story is really gonna start off. And then we'll be going into a deep dive at the very end about all the episodes and what I'm feeling so far. So let's jump straight into it without. Anyway, let's go for before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Oh, he wouldn't, yeah, he wouldn't see his reflection properly. Oh, like ever because of the, like where he lives and stuff. Satisfied? Oh, she looks younger. Oh, I love that. So she found him and her name's Marva. Cool. Now we're starting to get names because I'm just like, actors, faces, don't know the names. <laughs> Figure hands. Ah! <laughs> to die. Mm, like I. Oh, because he. She basically took him away from his sister. Oh, why do you open the door? No, B, don't do it. B, are you back yet? Please tell me these things are working. B. Fuck. No. Someone ratted him out. What? What do you mean? I need to go find him. No, Bix, no. Someone has to. Come back to you. What is going on? I can't believe you have Bix. All because of his jealousy. What did you do? It was sealed on the Imperial Naval Base in Stiergard. Look, you got the money, I got the box. What else is there to talk about? I'll give you another thousand credits to tell me how you got it. <laughs> Another thousand. Done. Because he thinks he's bluffing, but now he's not. They're so fat and satisfied. They can't. I love that line. I can't imagine why. Not someone like me would ever get inside their house, walk their floors, spit in their food, take their gear. So good. Great scripting. Take me up Bricks Road and hang me in the square. Is that where they hung your father? Hello? <laughs> Said I know you. I know all about you. What? Yes, I want the box, and I'll leave with that if it's all I can get. Would I go anywhere with you? Don't you want to fight these bastards for real? So good, I love it. Sit on your way in. Brace yourself. <gasps> Yeah, a lot of these Imperial officers, they go off instinct, and then, you know, then they regret it later. It's when it stops. That's when you really want to start to fret. Why? What happens then? <laughs> oh, wait. Because he said, Do you have charges left? Is that going to have all the bombs on it or something? Yeah! <laughs> yeah, I love it. Yeah, it's not going to be easy, boy. 
But th I feel like this is just gonna fuel him more, because more officers have died. Oh, mother! Oof, that's a good shot. Oh, I love that transition. Fantastic. Oh, the silence. So good. So, 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 so good. This, oh. This, honestly, this is everything I've wanted. I've wanted a more serious tone show from Star Wars for a while. Um, Not to say, like, Boba Fett and stuff don't have their seriousness, but I don't know, there's something more about this that's different. This is more, I think, underground than the bounty hunter level that we get from Mandalorian. This is, like, the people just trying to survive, you know, selling parts, and, you know, they're trying their best to live every day as much as possible, even with the Imperial sort of, like, forces, like constantly in their lives it's just wow so good such an incredible like start to the show so so good and i'm so excited to see where else this takes us because now i'm just like wait what's gonna happen now oh my god and yeah just the fact that we were introduced to all these characters and now i feel like we're not going to see them for a while we're going to be introduced to some brand new characters in the next episodes coming through and that's going to be even more amazing loving diego luna's performance it feels um like like it's back with Rogue One like and the sad thing is I saw like a tweet about it too like because I avoid spoilers but there was one tweet that made me laugh where it was like when you remember Cassian and or is dead <laughs> from Rogue One and it's just like oh yeah oh like ugh. it doesn't feel nice but at the same time it's interesting so yeah um I know that oh, this story is going to be amazing just by already the attention to details that they have and also just the uniqueness compared to other shows like it feels so authentic so different and the music is absolutely amazing the tension oh dude the tension in that this whole episode fantastic I knew it would sort of climb into this one it was fantastic absolutely loved it yeah and the performances not only um Diego but everybody is so good and just it's it's really cool because you're seeing from different perspectives. You see from Cyril's um, that guard, you know, the guy who was like poker face at the end who in shock. Um, him, like you see his perspective in the guards, and then you see like Bix's point of view. Then you see like um, her boyfriend. I think his name is Tim. It's the most basic Star Wars name that I feel like we've had. But Tim, we see his point of view, and then we see obviously the other point of views in this story, and that's so interesting it makes it so unique and i love that and i love the multiple different um points of view like that's very it's technical almost in terms of writing it and then bringing it to life and they've done it so well i'm I'm excited to see more of that in this show. Yeah, like I love how we're seeing also Cassian's like backstory. So we obviously see that he was from a, a planet that was like not not inhabited in the sort of like the states that we have with other planets. And obviously it was a very like, um, like people of their own, like they had their own language and stuff. They obviously didn't speak. They obviously didn't speak English. And yet it was so unique and they had their own leader, like obviously the children were left behind because the parents obviously died in a mining accident so then the children are left it was obviously the oldest one who was leading them went to the ship and of, of course she died but it was interesting to see Cassian's like reaction to the ship and then oh, that moment where he sees his reflection for the first time that like that caused me to have feelings that like I don't think like I've ever thought of that either too like just the fact that he was living like without those sort of like objects and stuff that you know, I guess we take for granted, and it's just, it's a very interesting perspective, and then obviously Fiona, um, playing Marva, I think that's her name, she, Fiona can just play any character so well, and just stand out, she's incredible, I'm so glad she's in the Star Wars universe, and I really hope that we see more of her performance, I hope that's not the only time that we see her, but she was fantastic, and obviously she's sort of like the adopted figure to Cassian, and now obviously it's, it shows like why it's so important, like, you know, that's why they were so close with each other. And it's beautiful. It's basically like his mother figure, which is very interesting. And oh, that moment in episode three where um, Skarsgård's character, I can't remember his name. Wait, let me just check. Luthen Ra Rael, I think it is. 
when Luthen like tells him like, oh, like your father was hung, and then ah, oh, the reaction from Cassian was just like so good. And even I was just like in shock, like how the fuck does he know? I hope we find out how he knows. Like how did he get all this information? Um, because I was thinking like Cyril maybe knew who he was, but I'm guessing he doesn't. I'm guessing he's just latched on to this event and it's just like I want to kill whoever did this and yeah it's an obsession it's interesting though so thank you guys so much for watching this I hope you guys enjoyed it please give a like subscribe comment and tell me your thoughts on all the episodes for um I was about to say Rogue One for Andor again absolutely fantastic absolutely loving it and I cannot wait for the next episode it's gonna be so so good and again it's just I keep saying it but it feels so different and that's what's making it so like I want to know every detail and obviously it's not you know I feel like while watching it even I was thinking like oh I'm not like you know with, with some other Star Wars shows I have big reactions because obviously there's characters that I like but with shows like this I really like to take it in and just watch uh, and then obviously there I feel like there are gonna not be big easter eggs like even if there isn't who cares but if there is obviously I'm gonna have a reaction to that but just taking in the story is also interesting that's sort of what I'm doing with House of Dragons at the moment I was gonna react to it but I think I'll react to it in season two it's just been so busy and I don't think um I can react to the two shows at the moment just because things are so busy with work so I apologize for that but also I'll give I'll give a review of House of Dragons when I finish watching it it's just I haven't react I don't I'm not reacting to it but oh, House of Dragons it's amazing people who haven't watched it go watch it anyway back to this um it's so good and yeah I'm excited to watch this I'm gonna stop because otherwise I'm gonna be here forever <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching this and I'll see you guys in the next video Crazy Fangirl out Woo!